fact, the Congress uh, alleged, uh, has alleged today that the audio was muted in Parliament to silence voices of protest against the government has now shared a clip on Twitter in which the audio in Lok Sabha apparently went silent during opposition protests shortly after the proceedings began. That's the charge being amplified by the Congress party. Ashwarya, what do other opposition parties feel about this charge being leveled by the Congress? Uh, well, certainly a video has been tweeted out by the Congress party where uh, uh, nothing can be heard when the Congress leaders were uh, protesting inside the uh, parliament uh, in the lower house. In fact, they came to the well, but nothing can be heard. In fact, uh, uh, CPI uh, member of parliament, Mr. Vinod Viswam, is with me. Uh, sir, now today uh, Congress had uh, tweeted that particular video. When the proceedings were taking place, uh, there was nothing which can be heard. In fact, Congress leaders were chanting slogans. You were there in the parliament as well. What do you think uh, the charges which is made by the Congress party and the opposition party leaders that their voices have been suppressed and this is an example that, that uh, this is what Congress is claiming? No, forget the Congress or the BJP or the Communist Party. Take the people because they are the masters in democracy. They are seeing it. Always our chairman says in the parliaments about the 140 crores of the people. Let them speak. They are seeing it. It is the BJP, the ruling punches, trying to stall the parliament functioning every day, systematically as a routine, in a very planned manner. They are doing it. They don't want the parliament to function. They want the parliament to be in the ruckus always. They want to make it a place of all kinds of nonsenses. We don't believe in this kind of a parliament. We want the parliament to function. We want the matters of importance to be discussed there, and that's why we are there for the people, for the country, for democracy. Mr. Biswam, what Arjuna Meghwal has told Times Now today, uh, he said that whenever Raj Sabha chairperson or the Lok Sabha speaker speaks, then it is only uh, his mic which is uh, unmuted, and the rest of the mics are always muted because it is the speaker who is in chair. And if the opposition party feels that you know, this is a kind of, uh, 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 you know, way that opposition parties' voices are muted in that way, then they do not even know the rules. What, according to you, feels that Arjuna Meghwal has said? I have great respect for him, but I believe, I believe that he himself knows that what he said is not right. Hmm. I am in the parliament. I have experienced myself that whenever we try to utter the word Pegasus, the moment I begin to speak Pe my mic is off. And now the people are allowed to mention ah because they fear ah will go to Adani. This is the parliament today. And we don't wonder this is the political ethics of BJP. They have no concern for the people and democracy. And they regard the parliament as a marketplace for them. You see it. Big leaders of the BJP including the ministers they are trying to do whatever they like in the parliament. Today, continuously for the last whole week, they are trying to prevent the parliament to function. Mr. Biswam, the deadlock continued for the entire five days. Rakas happened. No, no work had been done. In fact, in Raj Sabha, where you are a part of a member, uh, 26 bills are pending in Raj Sabha. Finance bill is something that government most priority is. But the oppo and, and BJP today came on record and said that they wanted uh, the house to function, but first let Rahul Gandhi apologize. Okay, all right. Uh, Ashwarya getting that reaction from the CPM MP who says that mics are indeed switched off in the parliament. This is a charge that the opposition leaders have continued to mount on the government.